Welcome to the channel. We are in the ugly room, the old laundry room. I want you to drink this ugliness in because it's going away. That's right. And the messiness, that's going away as well. On oh, that open ceiling, that's going away. That's right. Before we even get started on that, and I'm hoping it's today, by the end of this video, I'm going to jump over back into the dog apartment. I'm going to finish putting up the insulation where it needs to be. I've got that silver tape. I believe I'm going to run that where I can. Get that all buttoned up, and we may jump in here and start prepping this to put the wallboard on. By the end of this week, that this room will have wallboard at least on uh we're gonna put a ceiling on it and i'm gonna put laminate flooring down now i've been looking at different options on flooring but i don't want to build i want to build my own desk in here and everything i don't want to start any of that till it has a floor there's no more finishing a room with no floor it's going to get them i'm going to start doing this a little bit of a time or a little bit at a time and yes i'm going to do it myself uh there's no reason i can't do it you know, if I got to get on my hands and knees for five minutes, get back up, I do. But I'm going to do it myself. I've done everything else in this cabin myself. So why start asking someone else to help? We're not going to do that. So the first thing, like I say, we're going to go in there. I've got some clothes drying right now. That's why I'm doing the intro in here. And uh, it is cold. And sometime this week... Well, probably the next few days I've got to uh, go out there to Libby's kennel and I've got some ideas we're gonna warm that up some her doghouse is highly highly insulated but I want to make it a little better and I'm probably gonna put a heat lamp out there we got one cold day coming so I want to enclose it a little bit make her a little mini dog apartment and I've been toying with that idea the only problem with making her a mini dog apartment is if you enter it she's in there she will attack and she will bite you and i so I'm, I'm thinking of that she's a very difficult dog to deal with all right man enough yap let's get busy here we go baba, baba. i said that's country country wasn't cool oh i cut it backwards oh well Oh yeah, like a dead gum glove. Boy, that's tight. I mean, that's tight. That's good. It is very warm up here. I'm gonna take these. Uh, those three. I got three panels of this stuff left. This foam board, and I believe I'm gonna rig it. I'm gonna insulate that, but I'm gonna lay them across this way if they're long enough. Let me see make a lower ceiling for the winter I don't know let's see what this pan is oh yeah or I may just put them up here I think that's what I'll do but it, it would be warmer it's warm in here don't knock that over is Waldo still picking on you Lily is he still picking on you you tell him I said stop or I'm gonna get him all right so let me cut this piece and then we're gonna just use this stuff insulate here the rest of it and then maybe I'll decide what I'm gonna do with that remaining wallboard I think that would be good what's wrong Lily is he picking on you is he picking on you you just lay down he's been ornery all of you guys have Except for you, you're the only one that's been behaving. Come here. No, you're just scared of your own camera. Come up here, and you can work with daddy, okay? You can be my helper. He's been awful this week. He's been full of piss, piss and vinegar. Yeah, he's been full of piss and vinegar. What's on your pot? Nothing. You need to get those nails cut. Alright, you lay down and we'll work. 
just me and you. Alright, we're getting there. Certainly warm in here. I had to turn the heat off, that's for sure. Ah, did I come up short? Story of my life, come up short. Doesn't matter, there's gonna be a shelf here anyway. to go and let me show you guys so we got that whole wall insulated now that was wide open that didn't have anything I even put some little blocks of I took some of the scrap blocked up in there uh, but that's all gonna be covered anyway you ain't gonna see none of that it's doing its job man I put my hand even without the insulation there were no leaks because i had the flashing that uh, sticky tape flashing on the outside i believe and there was no leaks plus it has the tie back on it but now it's even going to be warmer now my spaceship is almost complete where's my drill man there it is i didn't have a joist on the end here so i've been having to screw two by fours to have something staple to it's a flaw in my design, I guess. That's what happens when you don't build plans, make plans, you just build. But it all comes out in the end. All right, this washer's in my way. Let's go left-handed here, I reckon. Ah, yeah, gotcha. Ah. That didn't work well. What the hell's wrong with this screw? Oh, you. Oh, for crying out loud. Some days are diamonds. And you, you're in my way. All right, left-handed. Oh, something like that. saying right there that's that's what I'm saying come on now that's never going nowhere in my entire life all right a few final staples and the ceiling is insulated work around this thing <laughs> Where in the hell is the two by four? All right, get a knife, go zip zip. Make it party. I swear. I'm going to have no choice but to build a fence around this entire property, man. And that's going to cost me thousands of dollars. I'm going to have to or move. Because I, I can't take it no more. It is bad. These people are so irresponsible around here. I know I complain about it a lot, but it's never been this bad. There's always been a few. But it ain't never been like it is now, man. It is absolutely ridiculous. And, you know, it's sad. There's nothing that can be done. 
Nobody's gonna come take them away. It ain't gonna happen. It ain't the dog's fault. I don't dislike the dogs, but it's horrible. All right, get that piece on that piece. I got a. I think I'm gonna cut a piece of foam board for that one. And there's several more to do, and then I'm gonna start running some of that silver tape I got. I got it in here warming up. I'm sure warming up. Whew. It's a beautiful day out though. Ah, where these two walls met, the upper and lower, I've got a small gap here on the caulk. This is a mixture of caulk and silicone. It's pretty silly. Especially if you won't come out. There you go. Get me just there. I don't want bugs coming in. I don't need to run my finger on it. It's in there. I'm gonna trim this up real nice. Get these pieces on. I got that piece on over there. Uh, just gonna go around and see if I see any daylight and caulk it in. Might as well hit some right here, huh? Might as well. Got to get that piece of uh, 2 by 12 up on that rail as I can see it's been before I put that piece up here it was getting wet in here so I'm not sure I don't think that's yeah that's treated but we don't want that so let me get this buttoned up looking pretty and we'll get bust out the, I don't know if I'm gonna get to the uh, office today I doubt it I want to spend my time in here get this really nice and insulated and so we, I don't have to worry about water line. I mean, last night it went down, what I say? It, was, it went down to 17, 18, and it was almost 50 in here. So as long as that heater's going, we're good. But, you know, in the, let me get back up here. Quit crawling down the ladder, guys. In the screen patio, no heat at all. It was 40 degrees. That was the low in there. So that's pretty good. That's just got the... That's not, ins it's the only insulation in there is where I covered the screens with that foam board. So that stuff is great, man. It work it's a good insulator. All right, let me go do the tedious stuff and then I'll come back, show you what we got. All right, guys, I think I'm gonna go ahead and pull this air conditioner out of there because if you remember, if you watched that video where I installed that, that was just a quick uh, hold I cut to just stick get this thing in there. It wasn't gonna be the permanent thing So I'm gonna pull this out and frame that back in So that way when I sheetrock everything is nice and you know I don't want to have to work around that plus that thing don't need to be in the window uh, It's very light. I can easily pull it I uh, did seal it in pretty good, but it ain't gonna take much to get that out. So we'll get that out Let me get a cut a piece of uh T111 or something and, and fill that hole in and we'll insulate this whole wall. We won't have that hanging in there. And then come spring, uh, come around here when I'm uh, talking at you. Come spring, I have a window I wanna put in in here as well. It's just like the ones I have up front, the uh, long, narrow windows. Uh, it, in the old laundry room there was three of them and i only needed two up front so i stored the other one it'll go good in here somewhere so we'll address that in the spring way before it gets hot and but i'm going to start pulling this thing out now and then we'll we it'll make it so much easier to, to do the sheetrock and everything else well let's see what's going on Fish don't fry in the kitchen. Beans don't burn on the grill. 
All right, where was I? Man, I love that song. All right, Let's see what's holding this thing, boy. <laughs> that wasn't coming out for nothing. Well, I got, I think I got trim on the outside. I don't know. It took me an hour to find the drill, and it was sitting right there on top of the. Uh, An army knife, Swiss Army. Do they really have an army? And who would that scare? Hey man, I'm from the Swiss. I know they make chocolate, but I don't think they're good at killing. I don't know. I know they're never, uh, aren't they always new? This ain't doing nothing. I think there's. Something outside, yeah, I know there is. All right, let me go outside. I'll be back. Got my drill. Oh, uh, of course, I got the lawnmower in my way. Oh, come on. These things are so deep. What the hell, is there one in there? Come on, one off now. Oh, here we go with the foam again. Wind's picking up. If it had never got hot, I would have had this thing done right the first time. Screws in so far, get a bite on it. Wow, who did that? Cut it, see if I can work it loose. It is muddy. All right, I got it out. I'm not gonna get too fancy. I'm just gonna cut a square piece of plywood or T111, whatever I got. Cover that hole because it's going back in there uh, in the spring. That's obvious. I, I wired the outlet for it. So, but I, you know, if if it, if you can, it's e it's better to take those out for the winter or at least cover them. But I have to sheetrock this place, so I want it, you know, it's going to be a whole lot easier for me to do that with that gone. So I'm just going to go cut me a piece of plywood, and then I'm going to cut me a square of the foam, put in there, maybe a couple squares of that foam, and uh, insulate the rest of this. And, uh, boy, it would be a lot nicer in here with a window, just, just going by that. So, yeah, in the spring, I think I'll put a window in. Hell, I might even do it this winter. Probably right there would be all right. It's only this wide. I think it's maybe a little wider. I don't know. I got to go measure. All right. So, yeah, I'll just cover that up. And uh, then I'll probably, you know, just leave. I'll build a little box to go around it for the winter. That way I can just leave it in. But to do sheetrock, this is going to be a lot easier for me. That's covered for the winter. And this way I can pull that board off in the spring after it's sheetrocked and everything. And yes, I will get that knife and screwdriver. I see it. And I just drill a couple holes. I'll take that off. Then I'll know where I can drill some holes and cut my little hole for the air conditioner. And then it'll look professional. Yeah. I don't know. I shouldn't even have put my name to this building. Why did I do that? Oh, well. All right. Now I'll just use this stuff and do it. Do it normally. I gotta get that screw off there. All right. 
That entire wall is now covered. That's where the air conditioner was. I need to pop that outlet box out a little. Uh, for now, I'm not gonna worry about it. What? We'll tidy it up, tape it, <coughs> and sneeze is what we'll do. Uh, this alone will uh, make a significant difference in the heating in here. I am just about out of that. Got a little bit of that fat stuff left. But I always got the, uh, I got enough. I got plenty to do it. If not, I got that uh, foam board. I got to tidy all that up, get that right. Get that outlet box out of there. That, that's where I was going to put the light, but decided to go there. Glad I did. All right. All right, guys, taking a short break from the insulation. I'm almost done. Uh, we got some horrible life threatening weather coming it'll be here thursday and they're calling for right at one degrees but with 40 mile an hour winds and it's probably going to go up where i live it's always five degrees lower than that so i got the dilemma about libby here libby she yeah so here's what i've decided to do <laughs> and i ain't got much in the bank but i'm gonna spend it all on this project we're going to be doing this the next probably tomorrow and the next day see how far but i'm going to essentially i've already got a roof okay so i'm going to take a portion of this probably just as wide as her doghouse her doghouse is extremely insulated the ceiling the floor the walls but when we get 40 mile an hour winds this isn't going to be enough so i'm going to build a room I've already got a back wall with the shed. I'll go inside there and insulate that wall. And then I'm going to build a wall here and insulate it. I've got the foam board. I've got the two by fours. I'm going to have to buy screws and things like that. And the idea is I'm going to set up a place for the Mr. Heater propane heater. God, I wish I hadn't gave away all my propane tanks because I'm going to need them this week. Cause I'll have to fill them all up. I got a I got a wall unit in my house, so I don't need it in there. But that would heat if I insulate this good enough, and I'll have to put a wall, something for walls on the ends, of course. And uh, but that'll give a, a nice insulated room here. Will make all the difference, and she will have no problem. And I'll have a little doggy door. She can come in and out. She can still have her two dog houses. So watch my videos guys because I'm going to need the money because I'm going to have to spend money I don't have now on this but my other option was to bring her into the screen patio but she can't you know she, she tears everything up she would certainly tear up the foam and the window not, and I don't really even care about that but if she tears that foam in the windows she's going to tear that screen and get out. And I don't want that happening. Plus, I got to fight her every time I come in there to go into the dog apartment. But in the long run, this is the better solution because it solves a lot of issues. Especially now she's getting scared at night. Uh, you know, nothing can get to her in that. She's going to be warm. She's going to be out of the wind, the weather. And so that's what I'm going to do. You know, screw that office. I got to take care of my animals and unfortunately you know the solution would be easy but she doesn't get along with the other dogs and rooster can't stand she, there, she can't come in the house there's no way not even upstairs she's not potty trained so we're gonna do this and so that's what i'm gonna be starting on going to the lumber store tomorrow all right man watching videos <laughs> look at all these cedar chips she loves these things but as you can see, it's not a very big doghouse in there. Let me stick y'all in. I don't know if you can see. I got some pictures of when I built this, but boy, it's insulated R13, top, bottom, and sides. But it's going to be too cold, and I've got to get her. She's safe in here. She's fine, but I got I got to get it warmer for her. She probably won't even need a heater if I put the walls and insulation up. We'll see. I'll put. I got a thermometer I can put in here. But I have that Mr. Heater for an option. But I just got to have to put it some in some way she can't get to it. All right. My battery's dead. I feel like I'm the little sweet thing. Inside of a Hershey's Kiss wrapper. Just done wrapped me. I even got chocolate on my shirt. I don't know what that is. Look like a little tractor drove over me. 
I don't know. All right, it's pretty much done. I'm gonna come in here tonight and start taping it. Uh, I kind of Frankensteined a lot of it together because I ran out of certain ones, but I ain't wasted nothing. It don't matter. It's still gonna serve the purpose and it's all gonna be behind sheetrock. So I patched some in there. This is a goofy wall. I didn't know what, I don't know, man. I'll make it work when I sheetrock it. Probably gonna have to build the rest of this out to meet that. <laughs> and them little scrap pieces I just stuck up there. I still got some more to do, but that's, you know, where the roof comes down. I've got to get in there and fix that as well. But for the most part, man, it is so quiet. I mean, just, just these few pieces that were left uninsulated made one heck of a difference. Oh, I forgot one. Yeah, we'll get it. That's to the patio. That's not really to the outdoors, but I'll do it. All right. I think I'm going to end it there, guys. I got to go feed the dogs. I appreciate everybody watching. That helps me a lot. Also got to do something with the chicken coop because, you know, I've worked with chickens for several years. I do know that they can tolerate the breed that I have, them game roosters and game hens. I know they can tolerate a lot of cold. But when it's getting below zero with them kind of winds, and the first thing that's going to happen, you can't prevent it. Their combs are going to get frostbite. You know, they're going to go outside. They're going to do that. That happens. But, you know, a couple years ago, we had 10 below. We lost a lot of chickens. I wouldn't say a lot. We had thousands. We lost 12 roosters, probably 15 hens. But, you know, for that breed, that's, that's unusual in cold weather so i'm gonna probably just get some more of that foam board and go around theirs is already framed out just insulate in there where they go and do a little more work make sure it's a little more uh weatherproof and they'll be fine but libby i i'm gonna be very busy the next few days i'm gonna try to film it all i will film it we got to build her that i got to build her that because that's the answer to a lot of problems uh but she cannot, she can't, she can't take that kind of cold. So, and it's not only am I going to have to build the room, I'm going to have to heat it, whether it be with propane or heat lamps. I, you know, I don't know if I can run a cord that far. I have before and run some heat lamps. There's actually an outlet at the well pump. So that's a doable and that's on a uh, 50 amp breaker. So I could take it. So I think that's what I'll probably do. That means I got to, I think I have a, a long enough cord, but I'm not sure. They got to be rated for that, and they're expensive. <laughs> but I got money put back for my truck repair, and I'll bust into that if I have to. But it's going to be expensive for what I got to do for the next few days. These guys, these guys are good, man. These guys are good, and I'd like to do something a little better with this door. It's just waldo busted out the other day and i had to redo it it's all goofed up but i'll get it fixed anyway guys appreciate you watching i know this has been a long series on this but other than sheetrock we're done in here i mean the electrical's done the plumbing's done i've got lights i've got the washer and dryer in here nothing else needs to be done other than put up sheetrock and that doesn't have to be done right now it's not going to get done right now uh, I've got other things, you know, that came up. And this weather, man, I, most of us are going to get it. So if you got outdoor animals you, you that absolutely, like Libby, that cannot come in, you're going to have to do something. Hay, chips, that is not enough. You're going to have to have a heat source. She doesn't have a problem staying in her doghouse, but it's still too cold. So I, I, I'm going to come up with something. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> ah, at least I got some warning. It's going to be, you know, we're going to have decent weather the next few days, so I got plenty of time. But just hang out, see what I do. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Happy trails. Just wanted to show you guys real quick. This is that silver tape. There's supposedly 250 feet on here enough to do this, but man, this stuff's super sticky and it just goes over these seams, seals up anywhere that and just kind of ties it all together. So I'm going to be doing that in the next couple hours. Uh, pretty cool stuff. The only thing I don't like about it is you got to peel the backing off, but that's not hard. 
All right, just thought I'd show you guys. Pretty cool.